The year 2025 is a big deal in the physics world. It will mark 100 years since the initial development of quantum physics. So as such, there is a major initiative to mark 2025, the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology. So what would that really mean? Well, Claudia Fracciola and Paul Kadenzimanski are here to explain Ortvia just that. Welcome. Thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us. So Thanks for having us. First question, why now? Uh, in 2025 will be 100 years since the development of quantum mechanics. And uh, for those of us in the physics community and the physical science community in general, uh, quantum mechanics has been a great friend over those 100 years. And we've seen tremendous developments, tremendous growth, and a tremendous future. And so we started talking to people uh, several years ago with basically the pitch of, would you like to have a birthday party 100 years for quantum <laughs> mechanics? And uh, um, immediately people said yes. We started calling up people all over the world and we're like, yes, the, the quantum's been a great friend. I want to have a 100th birthday party for it. Uh, so that's how it started and you know, more and more uh, individual people came on board, more and more societies came, came on board. APS took the lead in this, but we have over 60 other uh, societies, institutions all over the world who have been partners in this. And uh, now we have uh, many countries as well who are behind this effort. And we should point out that there is currently a resolution working its way through the United Nations right now to declare 2025 the International Year. Yes. How quickly do we hope that that will be made official? So this is a long process. It started with the UNESCO. So we started working with the UNESCO about a year and a half ago. The UNESCO General Conference that last made approved the resolution and then recommended to the UN to pass a proposition. So Right now, the Ghanaian delegation at the UN is working with the Mexican delegation to get the item into the agenda, and we're hoping that it will be sometime in this spring that the year will be declared. We've got a lot of technology, a lot of technological innovation at the moment, haven't we? We, we? we hear about quantum all the time, we talk about artificial intelligence. How do we make sure that the benefits of the, the 100th year of quantum are felt by everybody? So this is a very interesting topic and one that you know we're having across and part of the conversations that UN wants us to have, right, is, is a matter of access, is a matter of supporting the capacity of developing countries to build their own quantum strategies, right? There's many things that the quantum will benefit, like the health system, the technology, the cryptography development and processing, all those things. So how can we guarantee that those countries also have access? You know, there's companies that already are sharing their space time for developing countries to use what exists out there. There's not fully quantum computers, but what exists to start testing it out. So the International Year looks to that to help make sure that we, we provide equal access to everybody and that everybody has access to the education that they need to build their quantum strategies. And I would say that you know, the biggest goal of the year is to just generate some awareness about quantum around the world. So in certain countries, uh, in certain societies, like the word quantum is something that might be known. Some people might have some understanding about what that means. But most people around the world have never even heard the word quantum, right? And compare that to what people in, at this conference know. They know how central quantum science is to our understanding of the world around us. Young people are a very key part of enabling a quantum future. How are you making sure to engage with the next generation of quantum researchers? The word quantum actually is well known in popular culture, right? Like last year, I think it was, Quantum Mania, the movie came out. So, the, the younger generation have heard the word, right? And it's a matter of like something idea abstract. What we're trying to do with International Year of Quantum is, you know, build that campaign that connects with people's values on how quantum will really help their communities uh, and their aspirations, career aspirations to reach where they want. Uh, and part of that is how do we demystify the word quantum, right? because there's a lot of misinformation about that word and what it really is. So, so the campaigns that we're trying to build around the International Year is like demystifying that and making feel people comfortable talking about that and not as this abstract, weird thing. It can be an intimidating word. Super intimidating, <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we want to be as friendly as possible, I think. <laughs> These are friendly quantum physics. Yes, yes. yes. Incredible. Well, we look forward to next year and all the excitement to come. Thank yeah. you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.